Thank you, thank you, Titia, and thank you all for this wonderful award. They asked me to say a few things about how I got into science and, and, and what the Lasker means to me. So I'll start back and uh, when I first got hooked on science, and that was in part because of the space race in the 1960s. There was a push to more broadly educate kids in science and technology, and consequently I was exposed to the SRA Reading Laboratory in school. It was a progressive reader program, um, and uh, the advanced material was on science, fossils, planets, atoms, and molecules, and I loved atoms. The idea that matter was composed of smaller and smaller units was astonishing. The fact that elements fell into a periodic table in a way that could predict their properties uh, completely uh, uh, drew me in. It was an amazingly elegant uh, fact of nature, and it continues to astound me today. Initially, though, I avoided biology. I think I dissected one too many frogs in high school. <laughs> Um, but my senior year in college, I learned about recombinant DNA. Biology had gone molecular, and that intersected with my interest in chemistry. And the more I learned about DNA, the more I was seduced. In my mind, there is no more stunning piece of art than the double helical structure of DNA. It is beauty and elegance personified. I wanted to be part of that revolution. I was fortunate to be accepted to MIT without a biology background. And I remember when I first began doing research at MIT, um, Evelyn described it perfectly in the video that was produced. Um, I could not wait to get into the lab to look at the results of my experiments, the bacterial colonies, the phage. It was so exciting. I was like a kid in a candy store, and I just wanted to do, spend all my time uh, testing new ideas in the lab. And it's an incredible uh, feeling of enlightenment when the right idea clicks into place and explains something that you've puzzled about for years. And it's just such a rush to do that. I'm, I'm especially thrilled to share this award with Evelyn, whose pioneering work I learned of at MIT when I worked in Graham Walker's lab. While our careers barely overlapped, our interests were completely congruent. Can DNA sense its own integrity? What does it do with this information? We were both incredibly fortunate to work on such a rich and rewarding project. There's nothing I'd rather do than be a scientist. It's a privilege to be able to pluck one of Mother Nature's problems out of its firmament examine it, study it, and put it back, maybe as a shinier object for others to follow. And to have something good come out of this work, to impact health and society, is more than I could ever have imagined. I'm so grateful to have been able to play a role in science. Now, for me, the Lasker Award is a profound personal honor. I know that it recognizes not just the work of many creative individuals in my lab, but it is also a celebration of science itself. It is important for our society to promote the culture of science and celebrate its values, the values of reasoning, openness, tolerance, and respect for the evidence, especially in today's overheated political climate, uh, no pun intended. <laughs> and so that's why I so value the Lasker and its heritage. Mary Lasker saw far into the future and convinced this country of the importance of science and basic research, making a tremendous impact on our society at large. By continuing to celebrate stellar science year after year, the Lasker Foundation is promoting the values of science that we here all hold so dear to bring basic research to the attention of the public like Mary Lasker did so many years ago. In closing, I'd just like to end with a quote from Albert Einstein. One thing I have learned in a long life, that all our science measured against reality is primitive and childlike. And yet, it is the most precious thing we have. <clears throat> Thank you.